Proper storage and handling of bull semen is important. Semen must be stored at temperatures below negative 112 degrees Fahrenheit at all times. Semen can be permanently damaged by even very short exposures to elevated temperatures. By maintaining storage conditions of consistently very low temperatures, bull semen can be stored indefinitely. Semen storage tanks are large vacuum sealed metal bottles. They're extremely well insulated. These tanks can maintain internal temperatures of negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit as long as they contain at least two inches of liquid nitrogen. It is critical to schedule timely nitrogen fills to maintain both semen and tank integrity. To protect the tank from corrosion, keep it elevated above concrete or wet floors. Warm water thawing of semen straws generally takes 30 to 60 seconds. Thawing recommendations vary by semen processor. When possible, use the thawing recommendations from the AI organization that processed the semen. In cases where semen from multiple processors is used, decide on one thawing procedure to use. The National Association of Animal Breeders recommends thawing semen in 90 to 95 degree Fahrenheit water for at least 40 seconds. Time the thaw with a watch or timer instead of guessing the time elapsed. Electronic thawing devices are convenient to use. An electricity source at the side of semen handling is needed for these units. When functioning properly, these devices keep the water temperature between 95 and 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure to check the accuracy of these devices periodically with a reference thermometer and adjust or replace equipment as needed. Proper semen handling before, during, and after the thawing process is critical to protect sperm viability. Cold shock is a major concern with use of warm water thawing. If semen is thawed and then exposed to cold environmental temperatures before reaching the cow or heifer, it can cause permanent injury to sperm. The rate and span of temperature drop determines the severity of damage from cold shock. Good semen storage records, including canister numbers and cane codes, are essential. A flashlight can be used to read cane codes without having to lift semen canes out of the liquid nitrogen. Identify the location of the semen straw in the storage tank before thawing or moving it to another tank. Update semen inventory records for each tank and canister after transferring semen in or out of a tank. Move the semen quickly from the semen tank to the thawing unit, from the thawing unit into the AI rod, and then into the animal to be inseminated. From the center position in the tank, raise the desired canister just high enough in the tank neck to grasp the needed cane of semen. Immediately lower the canister to the tank floor. If it takes more than 10 seconds to locate a particular cane, then lower the canister back into the tank to cool completely before trying again. Return the canister to its storage position after semen removal. When removing a semen straw from a cane, keep the cane as low as possible in the tank. Semen raised above the frost line for even a few seconds can decline in fertility. Work quickly to remove the straw using tweezers instead of bare hands to touch the straws. Plastic tweezers designed to handle semen straws can be used. Take care not to bend or break the straws. If the straw is in the upper goblet of a cane, bend back the top metal tab of the cane to a 45 degree angle to allow for easier straw removal. After the needed semen straws are removed, bend this tab back to its original position so the cane label can be easily read in the tank. Once a straw is removed from the cane, do not return it to the tank. When transferring semen between tanks, have the tanks side by side and full of nitrogen. With the appropriate canister in the center position in each tank, transfer the canes quickly within three to five seconds. Do not touch the semen straws with bare hands in this process. Thaw only one straw of semen at a time. Gently shake the straw as it is taken from the storage tank to remove any liquid nitrogen retained in the cotton plug into the straw. Immerse the entire straw in the water bath. After thawing, use a paper towel to dry the straw. Adjust the air space in the straw by gently flicking the wrist while holding the straw at the crimp sealed end. This helps prevent semen loss when the end of the straw is cut. When the straw of semen is properly thawed, load it into a clean, dry, warm AI rod. Hold the insemination rod next to the semen handler's body and under the clothing to warm it before loading the thawed semen and until insertion of the rod into the animal for insemination. Brisk rubbing of the end of the insemination rod with a wrap paper towel can warm the rod through friction. 
The rod has a plunger that, when depressed, pushes the semen from the straw. Make sure that this plunger is pulled out of the rod several inches when loading semen and prior to insemination. Transfer the straw to the rod and squarely cut the tip of the sealed end of the straw. A special cutting tool is designed for this purpose. Then cover the loaded rod with a clean, protective plastic sheath. Do not reuse sheaths. Make sure ahead of the insemination session that the correct sheath design is matched with the rod type to be used. Depending on the rod design, the sheath is secured at the base by either screwing it down into a twisting motion or pushing it down through a donut-shaped retainer. Lastly, wrap the loaded end of the insemination rod with a paper towel and tuck it inside the inseminator's clothing for insulation and added warmth. Never place the AI rod in the mouth or carry it uncovered.